Making a history lesson entertaining can be quite a challenge, especially when you're trying to keep the attention of young children. Luckily, an event at the Fort Worth Stockyards is playing a vital role in bringing history to life. Reporter Justin Field explains. The Fort Worth Stockyards quickly become a classroom as kids of all ages gather around a campfire for cow camp, a fun event designed to teach kids about life during the times of cattle drives. These are things that most people don't see on an everyday basis. Uh, if you go to most cowboy reenactments, you see a gunfight, you know, people getting shot, people falling down. What we actually do in the cow camp is we bring it down to an even lower level to what the drover actually did. The younger kids, when they were just barely able to uh, get into their teens, uh, actually going up the trail, the hardships that they actually went through. Drover Jerry Eastman joined the herd in 2008 with one goal in mind, to bring history to life. That's some of the hardships that they actually had on the trail. They what we actually do is we talk about the chuck wagon, what, what happened on the trail with the chuck wagon, why the chuck wagon's here, what the drovers were doing. We talk about the roping and how they roped uh, the horses and the steers because most people just see it on a rodeo. And then we actually have them watch them in the arena and we actually have interaction out in the arena where we do the branding, talking about the whips and why we use whips, why we brand cattle and, and how the trail was actually done. The drovers work hard to paint the picture of just how difficult life was for cowboys nearly 150 years ago. It's not the glamorous gunfight, oh, the cowboy gets the girl and gets to go home with her at night, or gets to go out and you know pet his horse and sit up on the ridge and look out over all his vast land. He's actually out having to work to do what he's got to do. With two to 3,000 head of cattle, there was probably only 15 to 20 drovers that went up the trail with them. They had to ride back and forth quite a bit. They had to depend on each other. He was gone and we had some downtime, which was not a lot because we're in the saddle 16 to 18 hours a day. It just takes us back to how, how hard they worked and the crafts that they did back then and, and what they did to help um, to help the farmers, to help the ranchers, and, and probably how we don't utilize our time very well today. The values were there, the morals were there, and obviously taking millions of uh, head of cattle up in the 20 some odd years that they took them up there certainly added a lot of the uh, values and morals that established the cowboy and the cowboy life. But as the drovers point out, life for a cowboy isn't all that different today. A lot of the people that live in cities don't understand that real cowboys today are actually out on ranches sitting out there with the cattle uh, in a lonesome area just by themselves the way it was actually done 150, 200 years ago. With so many demonstrations, everyone who attended cow camp learned something new. Your saddle is made out of a tree. I didn't know that either. And the things you put your feet in, they are made out of wood, but leather is covering them. Even those who are young at heart went home with some interesting facts on hand. Well, I didn't realize that the spurs did as much as that they did as far as helping the cows move. I thought it just, you just popped them once and that's what made them go. Jerry hopes that everyone leaves with a better understanding of the history of cattle drives, and he hopes to continue educating people of all ages for many years to come. If we don't keep our past and remember our past, we're gonna lose it. And it's great to see all these kids come out here. I'm actually at my dream job now. I get to dress like a real cowboy. I get to ride a horse. I get to uh, move cattle down the street. I get to talk about history. So this is really a dream job. I hope that the people that when they leave here have an appreciation of what the, their forefathers basically had. It's a life experience. that You can learn more about animals you love. And that puts a smile on everyone's face. Look at that camera, little guy. Come out with that camera. <laughs> right. Reporting from the stockyards in Fort Worth, Texas, I'm Justin Field for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. What a great way to teach kids a lesson. Stay with us.